It's time for kickoff on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Live play-by-play coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. And by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Now, for today's call, alongside Avery Walker, here's Jason Shepard. All right, we're getting you ready for BYU Women's Soccer here at Southfield. The Cougars and the Pacific Tigers. Crowd filing in. They're filling up the stands here. The players are about to be announced. We're just a few moments away from kickoff. It's time for our Mutual Match starting lineups brought to you by Mutual, the dating app. BYU starting 11 in goal. No surprise, number 18, Sabrina Davis. Your defenders on the back line, number 14, Josie Gwynn. Number 7, Danica Sarasio. Number 28, Alyssa Jefferson. And number 23, the speedster, Rachel Lyman. In the midfield, number 4, Lizzie Braby, coming off a goal against Pepperdine two nights ago. Number 12, the freshman, Jamie Shepard. Number 8, Michaela Coulihan, the junior who you heard uh, my conversation with on the pregame show. And number 9, S.J. Affleck, coming off a performance on Wednesday where she scored her first career goal as a BYU Cougar. Up front, up top, your forwards, number 20, Cameron Tucker, and number five, Elise Flake. You're starting 11 for the visiting Pacific Tigers in goal, and this is a very, very young team. You're going to hear freshmen a lot. (laughs) Number 32, Veronica Baranowska. She's a 5'9 freshman from Lublin, Poland. The back line they will go with a 4-4-3 four, four, form, uh, formation. Number 21, Abby Wolf is on the back line. The other defenders, number 24, Cameron Scully. Number 26, Hannah Rosenblatt, the freshman from Roseville, California. And the freshman from San Diego, number 23, the defender Kelsey Owen. In the midfield, number 25, Nikki Lee, one of the rare sophomores. She's from Dublin, California. Number 15, Ryan Molnar a freshman from Yorba Linda, California. And number 12, midfield, Hunter Moore, a freshman from Mission Viejo. Up top, number 13, Haley Wynn. Number 18, Isabella Periente. Number four, Janae Packer, rounds out the starting 11 for the visiting Pacific Tigers. When you look at this and you see all of the freshmen and all the sophomore uh, classes for this Pacific team. That's you, as a former player, I know you've got to be salivating when you see this many young players to face tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things where even on a, a very experienced team like the BYU Cougars, you still see some freshmen go out there and play very much like freshmen. They fit in well. They they do a lot of good things, but the discipline and the the being able to be creative within the system, not just endless creativity is uh, very noticeable so when we we're talking about playing against 10 or nine freshmen um, I'm sure that BYU has looked at this and thought let's score some goals well and I think it, it boils down to another opportunity and we saw it perfectly on Thursday on Wednesday night where BYU came out strong that's what they were, had been working on they wanted the strong start and the Cougars had three goals in the first 22 minutes that's the kind of start they're looking for, certainly hoping to uh, keep that going tonight. Let's quickly pause for our national anthem.
are just moments away from the kickoff here at Southfield. Both head coaches, Jennifer Rockwood and Kerry Scroop, meeting right at midfield, giving each other a hug. Assistant coaches shaking hands. Both teams heading back towards their benches, and we should be underway soon here at Southfield. BYU looking to remain undefeated and continue their climb up the poles. Entering this week at number six and the 5-1 win over Pepperdine here. And depending on what happens tonight, it'll be interesting to see what the polls look like at the start of next week. Yeah, I'm excited for BYU. I know I, I wake up every morning and, and immediately check Twitter. Well, not every morning, I guess Monday mornings because I just want to see that ranking kind of continue to drop. And I, I guess rise. Rise or drop. Drop in numbers. Rise. Rise in ranking. Exactly. Um, but, the, you know, the cool thing about this team is that they, they honestly don't even know how good they are at this point, and that's the best part. I, I've said it a couple of times, but their humility going onto each each pitch against each team and the way they respect their coaches. I'm, I'm with the girls a lot on the road when we're on bus rides to and from practice and to and from game fields, and it's it's very it's a lot of gratitude. It's a lot of thanks, coach. It's a lot of you know inquisitive questions, and you know honestly, this is the most united I've seen a BYU team. Both teams. Done huddling up. Starters heading out towards the center circle. The players coming off the bench, heading back towards their side of the pitch. BYU in their navy blue kits with some royal blue and white trim. The visiting Pacific Tigers in their orange tops with black shorts and black socks. Crowd still filing in here to Southfield. Jason Shepard and Avery Walker on the call. Thank you for tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer. We appreciate you tuning in here on 107.9 FM locally here in Utah along the Wasatch Front as well as ESPN 960 as well as BYUcougars.com and all of the apps. Thank you for tuning in. Veronica Baranowska in goal for the Pacific, and she has a jersey change. She was number 32, but tonight she is wearing number one. So that's a change from at least the information we had. BYU will be in possession. Cameron Tucker, Elise Flake, standing over the ball in the center circle, and we are officially underway at Southfield. BYU and Pacific. Flake wide to Affleck on the near side. Affleck back towards the middle of the pitch. Retreats back to Shepard. Shepard to Jefferson. BYU playing it to their back line. Jefferson with possession. Nice defense by Pacific. Jefferson able to get ahead of the defense. Ball kicked out of play off of the Tigers. It'll be a throw in on the far side for Rachel Lyman and the Cougars. Just underway here in Provo. Lyman throws it in and immediately gets it back. The ball played backwards to Jefferson, even further back to Serracio. Serracio across the pitch on the near side to Josie Gwynn. Gwynn had a fantastic game the other night against Pepperdine. And it's not just against Pepperdine. She has a fantastic game every time. She is a bulldog defensively. Very rarely are you going to be able to beat Josie Gwynn. Yeah, she's been amazing for the back line. And I know she's uh, one of the only, well, I guess she is the only non-senior here on the back line, so it'll be kind of one of those things where she really carries the team into the next season, too. Gwynn can't catch up with the pass. It will go past the in line. It'll be a goal kick for Baranowska. Again, the 5'9 freshman from Lublin, Poland. Starting to see more and more international players in collegiate soccer, and there's quite a few in the West Coast Conference. We've seen a lot of opposing teams coming in with players from all over the world. Certainly an international game, to say the very least. BYU takes over possession. The ball into Cameron Tucker. Looking for Michaela Coulihan. Can't catch up with it. The Tigers look to clear, but BYU was there to maintain possession right on the edge of the attacking third. On the far side, Lizzie Braby to the speedy Rachel Lyman, making her way towards the end line. Right-footed cross, a shot, and a goal already! In the third minute, BYU gets on the board. A great assist from Rachel Lyman. 
She was streaking down the right side, made it all the way to the inline, and a perfect pass, and it looked like Cameron Tucker. Oh, Michaela Coulihan was the player to score. Great job by Michaela Coulihan. That was great penetration by Rachel. It drew the defense in, and Michaela Coulihan was there for a fantastic goal, and BYU already on top, 1-0 here in the third minute. Yeah, in the first few minutes of this game, you can definitely tell that Pacific is is really willing to do what we call park the bus, which is put pretty much all 11 players kind of in the box and not really do a lot of high pressure here. So for an outside back to get in, get around the defense and find the ball in the box, that's that's a sign of one, a really good balanced attack, right? You're able to attack not just from your, your top five, but everybody on the field. Well, and this is another quick start, which is exactly what BYU wanted. Yep. And when you're taking on a team, that's coming in over match. The last thing they want to be is down one nothing in the third minute already. Yep, I think they uh, they may have. They're just they're just getting a small taste of what it's like to play on Southfield against a number six team. BYU women's soccer is brought to you in part by Mountain America Visa credit cards, featuring competitive rates as well as rewards and cashback options. Learn more at macu.com. The ball put in play. BYU in possession with a lead of one to nothing. Affleck plays the ball back to Serracio on the back line. Serracio even further back to Jefferson. Jefferson on the move towards her right. A pass on the far side to Lyman. So far, BYU's had space. They've had enough room to maneuver and find those passing lanes. Defense not really up on BYU that closely. Another cross into the box with the left foot from Josie Gwynn kicked out of play and out of bounds off of Nikki Lee. Be a corner kick for the BYU Cougars. We're in the fourth minute, leading 1-0. This corner kick brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Cougars put the ball in play. Gwynn right at the top of the arc. Back to Serracio. Serracio from 20 yards out. The shot and a great save by Baranowska. Gets her hand out there and just enough to redirect the ball. Otherwise, BYU is going to be up 2-0 really quick. I know Danica has been talking a lot about scoring another one of those. She had the game winner against UVU, and uh, that one came close. Affleck with another corner kick brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. A deep corner all the way through, headed out and punched out. Once again by Baranowska. She has been busy early on, and we're only in the fifth minute here in Provo. Yeah, I'm impressed. She's very active and is able to cover the net. Mikhail Kuhan shot on goal with her head was upper 90. Be another corner kick. This time Lizzie Braby will take it on the far side. Ball put into play. The offside flag goes up. Offside call. The first offside call of the evening. The clock just clicked over into the sixth minute here in Southfield. Michaela Coulihan scoring in the third minute on a great assist from Rachel Lyman. BYU leading 1-0. Already three shots and three corners. No shots and no corners for Pacific. And a steal by BYU. Cameron Tucker with possession down the far side. Across into the box. Looking for Elise Flake. It goes right past Elise and through. The ball kicked out of play. And that will be off of Pacific. And a throw in. As BYU looks to get the ball inbounds quickly. Gwynn. Inside to Elise Flake. Across into the box. Bounces around. Michaela Coulihan fighting for possession. The Tigers will come away with it. And here comes Pacific. Yep. Pacific had the ball taken away. Great steal by Josie Gwynn. Careless playmaking there by Haley Wynn. Had the ball taken away. But BYU now with the turnover. And now Pacific, their first opportunity in BYU's defensive third. A shot right at Sabrina Davis. Easily makes the stop. It's the first time Pacific had even sniffed an opportunity for a shot on goal. Yeah, and from a young team, I mean, I know Coach Scroop had kind of talked about this, but from a young team, what you really want to see is just their ability to c to commit to the little things, right? Find the 1v1 battles and put some effort into them. 
hit when you go into tackles, go hard. And then, you know, when you have your opportunities, take them. That wasn't the best angle to take a shot from, but it worked for. Pacific trying to clear. The ball sitting in the box, but they can't get it out. And at least Flake will come through with a left foot. Her cross went through the box and out of play. She did have Lizzie Braby nearby, but Lizzie couldn't catch up with it to put that in the back of the net. Be a goal kick for Baranowska and the Pacific Tigers. 1-0 BYU in the eighth minute. Baranowska, the freshman. In fact, they have two freshman keepers. They've been rotating between Baranowska and Brenna Crump. Both are freshmen. Coach Scroop talking about how really you're just going to go with the hot hand. Whoever's ready is the one that's going to be between the pipes. Pacific with the ball. Abby Wolf back towards the middle of the pitch to Isabella Periente. Periente wide. Kelsey Owen plays the ball forward. Nice defense by Michaela Coulihan. Steps in front of the pass. We'll play it to Jefferson. Jefferson sends it all the way back into the box. Sabrina Davis will reset. Gwynn. In possession. Looking for Elise Flake. A nice defense there by Pacific. Abby Wolf comes away with a steal. and Pacific plays it back towards their keeper. They'll keep it in the back line, however. Pass. Far side touch. Nice defense by Michaela Coulihan coming away with it. Sends the ball forward looking for Cameron Tucker. Right-footed cross right at Baranowska. Grabs it with both hands and eliminates another opportunity for BYU to add to their 1-0 lead. Baranowska throws in. Josie Gwynn, the only player there. and BYU says thank you. Already in the attacking third. Near the top of the arc to Coulihan. Pass through to Braby. Braby can't catch up with it. It goes through the end line. But BYU certainly aggressive to start this match tonight. Yeah, and they're being really creative too. Like that last opportunity, Michaela Coolahan. Um, well, it came from Josie Gwynn. The outside back went to Michaela Coolahan, and then a through ball out wide. And then the previous one, it was Cameron Tucker with the cross. So it's not it's not just a, a one style of game here. We've got attack coming from all sorts of areas on the field. BYU with another steal right on the edge of the attacking third. Braby with a through ball looking for Rachel Lyman who catches up to it near the corner. Back in towards Michaela Coulihan right at the edge of the box with the right foot. That ball sails above the crossbar and out of play. Tenth minute, one nothing BYU. Michaela Coulihan getting the Cougars on the board in the third minute. Still little remnant of the sun to our west, but it's setting fast, and we are certainly under the lights here at Southfield tonight. Temperature expected to be hovering in the 40s, probably low to mid-40s by the time this wraps up. With the offside flag goes up. The offside on Pacific. Be a free kick. For BYU. Jefferson back to Serracio. Serracio still behind midfield. Deep pass. Lizzie Braby comes away with it on the far side. Defense still giving BYU plenty of room to do whatever they want. Yeah, it's a very low pressure system from Pacific. Jamie Shepard to the near side to Josie Gwynn. Josie has been busy to start this one. She cuts back to Coulihan. Coulihan about 10 yards away from the arc. Back to Gwynn. Gwynn looking for Elise Flake. Affleck. Affleck with a cross and a shot by Cameron Tucker that about a foot high above the crossbar. She's going to lose sleep over that one. <laughs> That's one that Baranowska had no chance of stopping. Yep. It was just a missed kick by Cam Tucker. BYU maintaining their 1-0 lead here in the 12th minute. Great execution by BYU to give themselves an opportunity to score. And as we talk about all the time, the more opportunities BYU gives themselves, the higher the probability that they're going to start scoring goals in bunches. Yep. And it's really it's really fun to see um, 
SJ Affleck go after the end line as aggressively as she does and really then find the, the passing seams and give it up to Cam Tucker. I know um, a lot of our goals come from our withdrawn forwards kind of getting that ball into dangerous space. A shot by SJ Affleck. The ball was supposed to go to Elise Flake, but she got tripped up, and the ball was sitting there, and Affleck ran up on it, shot it from about 25 yards out. Baranowska grabs it and will drop kick it back into play. Shepard gets a head on it, gets it back towards Cameron Tucker. Tucker loses her footings, pulled down, but no, no foul. BYU does maintain possession. Affleck back to Shepard. Shepard to Coulihan. Coulihan already with a goal in tonight's game. Braby wide to Lyman. Lyman looking for Braby. Braby got crossed up. The ball went one way and she went the other. Luckily, on the clear by Pacific, it went out of play. And it'll be a throw in for Rachel Lyman on the far side for BYU. In to Jefferson. To Coulihan. Back to Jamie Shepard. Shepard on the attack. Tried to get that to Elise Flake. The ball was cleared. But a heady play by Alyssa Jefferson to step in front of the Pacific player to steal the ball and keep possession for BYU. Sarasio, a deep pass, looking for Braby. Headed out off of Pacific. Another throw in for BYU. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. 14th minute, it's one nothing BYU. It'll be a free kick for Pacific. Ball put into play. Abby Wolf, hounded by, I did not mean that pun, by the way, hounded by S.J. Affleck. <laughs> the ball kicked out of play and onto press row, and Hit a couple of computers and I think knocked over somebody's hot chocolate. But not our hot chocolate because we've already had ours. I got hot chocolate. I don't have a laptop, but I got hot chocolate. <laughs> Ball thrown in by Wolf for Pacific. Wolf down the near side. Only the second time Pacific has been in their attacking third. Nice defense by Serracio. Battling for that ball will go out of play. Pacific will maintain possession. We'll have a corner kick. Isabella Periente, the sophomore from Granada Hills, California, will take the corner kick. 15th minute, it's 1-0 BYU. Periente lines up, runs up to it, and with the right foot puts it in play. The ball headed around and cleared by BYU. But not far enough. The Pacific doesn't keep possession. Periente keeps the ball from going out of bounds. Plays in towards the box. Serracio gets a foot on it. Misdirects it. And Sabrina Davis will come away with it. Grabs it and rolls it back into play. And here comes Alyssa Jefferson and the BYU Cougars. Lyman. To Braby. Braby with the ball down the far side. Right-footed cross. A shot. Nice defense. Cameron Tucker got a foot on it. But great defense by Pacific to get in front of that. That was an incredible save by Baranous Baranowska. Cameron has had two really good looks early in this match. She is going to score a goal with the way she is being aggressive tonight. There's yeah. no question about it. Ball in play. Possession to Pacific. Yeah, they've had the, the possession, or excuse me, Pacific has had the possession the last few minutes here. We'll Win what... to Periente. Periente on the move, taken down by Josie Gwynn. She'll be called for the foul, pushing Periente in the back. It'll be a free kick for the Pacific Tigers. It appears that Kelsey Owen a freshman from San Diego, which was founded by the Germans. I don't know if you know that. We'll take the free kick. In play, into the box, and through. 
Did they call offside or did they call a foul? Either way, it's BYU's ball. It'll be a goal kick for Sabrina Davis. You heard the whistle, but I never saw exactly what the whistle was for. I think they called a foul. BYU with possession. Serracio with the ball. Danica being patient, keeping it on the back line all the way across the pitch to Rachel Lyman. Back to Jefferson. BYU is kind of keeping it on the back line in hopes to draw Pacific out instead of allowing them to park the bus and have 11 people in the box. Great pass through. Cameron Tucker right at the edge of the box. And the offside flag goes up and eliminates a scoring opportunity for the Cougars in the 18th. I like the attempt, though. The back line kind of took the attack into their own hands, and they just wanted to kind of possess the ball and, and force Pacific to really, you know, give them some high pressure instead of attacking so quickly that it's kind of clogging up that that uh, final third there. Well, in the pass, the pass was in between two Pacific players that were probably a good 15 yards apart. Yeah, the lane was there, 100%. It was a great pass. Unfortunately, the offside flag goes up. Free kick for Pacific. They will maintain possession. Cameron Scully plays back to Baranowska. Baranowska back to Scully. Scully can't catch up with it, and the ball goes out of play, and that's definitely not what Baranowska wanted to do to give BYU a throw-in already in the attacking third. The ball put in play by Affleck to Gwynn. Gwynn back towards Jefferson. Jefferson on the move. The attack from the back to Shepard, to Coulihan, one touch back to Shepard. Shepard on the far side to Rachel Lyman. Lyman back to Jefferson. Jefferson looking for Coulihan, nice defense, dislodges the ball, BYU maintains possession. Far side to Lyman, back to Coulihan. BYU playing the ball back, and now across the pitch to Danica Serracio. A little two-man game right now between Serracio and Jefferson. Jefferson with possession. We're in the 19th minute. BYU leading 1-0. Lyman to Shepard. Shepard loses the ball. Pacific comes away with the takeaway. Kelsey Owen. Looking for win, but Josie Gwynn able to catch up to it first. The Cougars come away with it. Nearing the neutral third. Deep pass. To Elise Flake, skips off her head. Pacific looking to clear, can't get it out of play. And Josie Gwynn on the move, has the ball right in the box. Right-footed cross. And a shot by Michaela Coulihan, but great defense to get right in front of that shot by Pacific. Periente now with possession. With two BYU defenders around her, somehow gets the ball away. Thought she was going to lose it with that kind of pressure. But Pacific... Maintains possession. Will be a throw-in. That ball bounced off of Cameron Tucker. Ball went behind the platform here where our broadcast location is. The Coach Scroop had to go find the ball. A throw-in here right in front of where we are. Wolf puts the ball in play. But another turnover by the Tigers. The 3-9 and nine Pacific Tigers and the 11-0-1 BYU Cougars. Cougars rank sixth, and they lead 1-0. Cam, or excuse me, Michaela Coulihan getting BYU on the board in the third minute. The offensive opportunities have been few and far between for Pacific tonight. And another one goes by the wayside. Great defense by BYU. And here come the Cougars. Elise Flake. Her pass taken away, and here come the Tigers. Ball on the far side, defended by Rachel Lyman. Tigers right above the arc. Periente with a shot that sails wide of the post and out of play. Goal kick for Sabrina Davis. I got to hand it to Pacific. We, we are seeing a lot of pretty good possession. They've got a good holding midfielder who's able to keep the ball. She has a good presence there. And when they attack, it's it's not a slow backwards, like let's see if they can find something. We'll, we'll try again. If not, it's, you know, take what BYU is giving them, and that's the space out wide. S.J. Affleck crossing 
midfield. Her pass a little too strong. Rolls all the way into the penalty area, and Baranowska grabs it and will reset. Yeah, when you have an attack like BYU, there's no reason to get the ball at midfield and just dump it over the top. SJ can definitely find Elise Flake and Cameron Tucker just with a little more patience. Pacific with a deep pass. Rolls all the way and almost out of play. Lyman catches up to it before it goes out. and The Cougars will reset deep in their defensive third. The ball played wide to Sarasio, to Gwynn, to S.J. Affleck. The ball bounces. She loses control, and Pacific comes away with possession. Nearing the attacking third. Wide on the far side and out of play. Pacific not able to catch up with that pass. Throw in for BYU. Braby will throw it in to Lyman. 23rd minute, 1-0 BYU. Really nice crowd here tonight at Southfield. Deep pass to Elise Flake. Flake already at the edge of the box. Goes to her left. Shot defended nicely by Pacific as they clear it. Will go out of play. It will be a corner kick for the BYU Cougars. Corner kick brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union guiding you forward. Oh, did they say it went out? <laughs> yeah, the ref didn't see what was going on. <laughs> that was definitely a corner kick. But we do have a goal kick here. We got a goal kick for Baranowska. Yep. That was most definitely a corner kick for most BYU. Most definitely. Pacific with possession. And now a steal by BYU, and the Cougars on the run again. Seeing that BYU attack, the ball all the way through. Cameron Tucker was close, but Baranowska moving up and jumping on top of that ball to eliminate the scoring opportunity. If she doesn't get there, Cameron Tucker's going to score. Yeah, if that ball had a little less weight on it, kind of stops there for Cameron Tucker. She would have she would have had Baranowska that time. <laughs> it's a chance we could have been calling the hat trick for Cameron Tucker the way she's been playing tonight. I know. She's had great opportunities to score. BYU, though, leading one nothing. We're in the 24th minute. Pacific with the ball. Hannah Rosenblatt. Trying to catch up with the pass. It goes past the inline and a goal kick for Sabrina Davis. Davis sets the ball down. Kicks it into play. Jefferson on the move to Shepard. A little pressure defense now by the Tigers, something we haven't seen. Yep. Haven't pressured this far back to this point. The last couple of attacking opportunities have just come from a long ball from the center backs, and I would love if BYU would go back to what was working for them in the first five to ten minutes. Just find your attacking players, work through Jamie Shepard, work through those withdrawn forwards, and get the ball to your, your Herman Trophy nominee and leading goal scorer, Elise Flake. The ball sent all the way back into the box. Davis quickly puts it back into play to Sarasio. To Gwynn, Josie, to Coulihan. Kayla can't catch up with it. And a turnover for BYU. Periente now with the ball hounded by Shepard. She'll have to play back to the back line. The ball wide. Tigers still with the ball. Nearing the attacking area, Periente. To the near side. Abby Wolf with the ball. Takes it back towards the middle of the pitch. Nice defense there by Josie Gwynn. Wolf will retreat. Back over to Periente. Periente, the sophomore from Granada Hills. Wide on the far side, and a shot deflected by Lizzie Braby. The ball comes loose, and BYU on the move. On the far side, Elise Flake looking for Michaela Coulihan. Nice clear by the Pacific defense. And a steal by Lyman stepping in front of that pass, and she's already at full speed. Near the end line, left-footed cross. Pacific got in front of that cross, and the ball will go out of play. And Now we will have a corner kick. Brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Lizzie Braby will take it on the far side. It's BYU's fourth corner kick of the evening. Braby with the hand up. 
Runs up to it with the right foot. Into the box. Punched out by Baranowska. And a shot by Coulihan. Defended nicely by Pacific. They clear, but not far enough. BYU maintains possession. The Cougars play it back towards Serracio. Serracio looking for Braby. Pacific gets a foot on it, but BYU will maintain possession. The ball ricocheted right to Serracio. To Jefferson, wide to Lyman. Lyman to Braby, a little one-touch back to Rachel. Right-footed cross, looking for Coulihan. The ball goes through. Pacific tries to clear. Gwynn with a shot will go all the way through and out of the in line. SJ Athlek will check out for the BYU Cougars. Our first substitution of the evening. Number six, Ashton Brockbank will check in. That is a Zions Bank substitution for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Also going to have a couple of Pacific substitutions momentarily. They may hold that up. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Well, it looks like they're going to allow those players to sit for just a second. Then they'll let, let them come in. Brockbank has played well in the minute she's been given. She's now in. Pass through. McCoola, er, Michaela Coulihan on the run. Coach Scroop not happy that one team was allowed substitutions and the other was not. Cougars with the ball. Nice defense by Rachel Lyman to step in front of the pass. Coulihan on the run. Through ball. Looking for Cameron Tucker. Goes all the way through. And nobody there except Baranowska. 29th minute. It is 1-0 BYU. 9-2 BYU leading shots. 4-1. Cougars with the edge and corner kicks. Goal kick by Baranowska. Right to BYU. Shepard with possession. Wide to Braby. Lizzie on the run. On the far side. Cuts it back in. Pass to Brockbank. Brockbank back wide to Braby. Deep cross. Makes its way through. Cameron Tucker will come away with it. Nice job by Cam. She'll spin around and shoot it back into the box and a header by Michaela Coulihan is wide and out of play. That was actually Jamie Shepard coming up from a holding mid spot. Getting a shot on goal. Well, Very not nice. on goal, but towards it. <laughs> In the direction of the goal. Yeah. 30th minute, and now we will have the substitution. Sigrid Oz checking in. Isabella Periente will check out for Pacific. I think it's wise that uh, BYU kind of changed formations here in the last five minutes. We're seeing a lot of Alyssa Jefferson and Danica Serracio having to connect with each other without a lot of options going forward. Just because since um, there are so many players tucked into Pacific's midfield, they're unable to, to find Michaela Coulihan and find just Jamie Shepard alone. So having two holding midfielders will help that. BYU back in action. Cameron Tucker in the box, cuts back. A shot hits the bottom of the crossbar and bounces in. Cameron Tucker puts BYU on top 2-0 in the 31st. Cameron Tucker had a personal vendetta of a, against Pacific's keeper. She wanted not a, not a scrappy goal, but a beautiful goal to say, thanks for stopping my other three, but I'm putting this one in. That ball, <laughs> just seeing the replay. The ball hit the bottom of the crossbar and deadened and dropped straight in. Yeah, that was a pretty goal. BYU Ooh. leading two to nothing, and we called it. Yep. We said <laughs> that Cameron Tucker was ultra aggressive tonight. She was going to get one, and yeah. she got it. Now she needs three more, or two more. Let's go two more. Hat trick. Why not four more? Let's when get greedy. When she scores, she scores in threes. Okay, I like it. <laughs> we saw that at K-State. Yes, we did. BYU with the ball after a Pacific turnover. Cougars already in the attacking third. Braby with the left foot and puts it in. Goes far post and puts BYU on top three to nothing just like that. Back-to-back -back games. Lizzie Braby scoring for BYU. What an aggressive play that pays off for the Cougars. You know, that's the best part about having a goal right before, or I guess having the restart with the goal, is because the other team really is drawn out. Like, they're ready to attack. It's almost like if you can steal the ball within that first couple of minutes, 
they don't expect it and they're out of position. What a, a it was it's almost like we had two identical shots, one from Cameron Tucker and then the same kind of goal from uh, minus the crossbar from Lizzie Braby. Avery, the score was one nothing literally one minute ago. It's now <laughs> three nothing. Yeah, well, I did predict that BYU would score in every 10-minute period. We missed 20 minutes, but now we're back. <laughs> Cougars feeling good, playing well, being aggressive. This is exactly what Coach Rockwood was looking for, wanted to see it this week. She saw it against Pepperdine and definitely seeing it right now against the Pacific Tigers. Now into the 32nd minute. Pacific with the ball, but not for long. They can't maintain possession. We'll kick it out of play. And a throw in for Josie Gwynn right in front of her BYU bench. Into Tucker. Tucker back to Shepard. Shepard to Braby and a one touch. Back to Jefferson. 11 shots to two. BYU very aggressive tonight. Left-footed cross by Braby into the box. The only player there was wearing orange and black. She clears it. She'll send it out of play. We'll have three BYU players checking in. McKaylee Moore, Ellie Mon, and Rachel McCarthy will all check in. Coming out, Lizzie Braby, Elise Flake, and Cameron Tucker all checking out. Those substitutions brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. The ball put in place. Horacio keeping it on the back line to Jefferson. Jefferson playing the ball forward to Shepard. Jamie gets out of trouble. Had three defenders around her. Sends the ball back to Rachel Lyman. Who sends it back even further to Jefferson. Once again, seeing a little pressure by Pacific. BYU so far has done a really nice job of handling that. Coulihan to Shepard. Shepard wide to Serracio. Nice job by Josie Gwynn right on the touchline to keep that in play. Back in towards Coulihan. Coulihan can't keep up with the ball. Slides right past her and a turnover for BYU. Pacific comes away with the ball, trailing 3-0 here in the 33rd. A little over-aggressive pass. Goes out of play and another turnover for the Tigers. Throw in for the Cougars. In play. To Brockbank, Ashton crossing midfield. To Lyman, Rachel, to Michaela Coulihan. The through ball to Ellie Mon. Can she catch up with it? Left footed cross into the box. Nicely done and cleared by Pacific. Yeah, There's Ellie nobody Mon did attacking her part. on yeah, that. Yeah, she, she did her part to put it in the right spot there. The BYU players weren't able to connect, but really, really good spot. BYU does come away with it, though. Another careless pass by Pacific. And Rachel McCarthy already near the end line. A shot. Nice stop by, Bar by Baranowska. Her head was spinning over the last couple of minutes, having two goals scored against her in about a 60-second span. Yeah, but, I mean, she had an incredible 20-minute period there. Yes, there she like, did. Uh, what, how many shots on goal? That, she, that should have been goals, truly. Drop kick. Put back into play by... Baranowska. Kayla Pack. Her pass taken away by BYU, and Shepard comes away with it. To Coulihan. As Coulihan advances the ball forward to Mon. Ellie, right in front of the Pacific bench. Nice little one touch from McKaylee Moore, looking for Mon, taken away by Pacific. Pacific on the clear. Can't clear it far enough, and Jamie Shepard comes away with it. Looking for Rachel McCarthy, who slipped right at the edge of the penalty area. Another aggressive play by BYU, leading 3-0 here in the 35th. Two more substitutions for the Pacific Tigers. Number five, Jade Inland. And number 28, Emily Counter will check in. Checking in for number 27, Kayla Pack. As well as number 12, Hunter Moore. More freshmen checking in, although freshmen were checking out. So we said this is a very young Pacific team. 
Coach Scroop knew she, her team was going to go through some growing pains, and she said that's what they signed up for. It's all about building the culture and developing the system and the continuity to win. And honestly, I've been impressed for a team this young with a program that has historically not been dominant. They're doing a good job. Like, for, for what they can control, their tough defense, their ability to possess in the middle of the park, I'm impressed. Ellie Mon passes back to Sarasio. Danica advances. Nice pass through. Gwen trying to catch up to it before it gets out of the inline. Can't. Looks like the offside. Oh, no, they say it went out of play. It'll be a goal kick. Leveni Vaca checking in for Danica Sarasio. Another Zions Bank substitution for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Thirty seventh minute, three nothing BYU. Goals from Lizzie Braby, Michaela Coulihan, and Cameron Tucker. And it looks like Rachel McCarthy has a bloody nose. I didn't see what happened. But she's walking off the pitch. And she's in some pain. Her nose is bleeding. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I did not see what happened to her. But she's in some serious pain. The trainer, Carolyn, out to... Put some pressure on the nose. Try and stop the bleeding. Ella Ballstedt will check in. Rachel McCarthy comes out of the, comes out of the match. As soon as we get some information on Rachel McCarthy, we'll try and pass that along. But again, neither, neither you or I saw what happened. All of a sudden, we saw her walking across the pitch. Kind of leaning her head forward yeah. and blood was coming out of her nose and dripping into her hand. I used to get bloody noses sometimes when I would just head the ball. So hopefully it was that and not something violent, you know. Pacific with possession deep in the attacking third. Right footed cross goes nowhere and out of play. It'll be a goal kick for Sabrina Davis and the Cougars. Vaca, back to Shepard. Lavinia checking in just moments ago. Lyman plays all the way back to Jefferson. Jefferson loses the ball momentarily, regains possession, and now advancing forward. Brockbank crossing midfield. Nice pass, deep and wide to Ballstedt. Nice cutback. BYU will keep the ball as they retreat just a little bit to reset. Back to Vaca. To Jamie Shepard. And then all the way back to Alyssa Jefferson. 38th minute, 3-0 BYU. Mon to Coulihan. Coulihan to Lyman. Lyman now advancing forward. Brockbank. Wide to Ballstedt. Ella can't catch up to it. Goes out of play. A turnover for the Cougars and a throw in on the far side for Pacific. Sigrid Oz. Oz will check out. Checking in. It says number eight, but I don't see number eight. <laughs> a couple of jer jersey changes. There's been a couple changes. of jersey yeah. changes. They're just keeping us on our toes, Jason. Nikki Leishman wearing number eight tonight, checking in. And the throw in on the far side by Pacific, trailing 3 nothing. The ball in play. Pacific with the pass downfield. The only players there wearing BYU navy blue. To Gwyn, Josie, to Mon, Ellie. Nice cutback. Looking for McKaylee Moore. The thought was there. 
Just couldn't catch up to it. But BYU maintains possession. It was nice defense, too, by Pacific to make that a much more difficult pass than what BYU wanted. Yeah, Ellie did a good job of kind of faking that she was going to go to the end line, but then opened up a lot of space by stretching Pacific's defense. Offside flag goes up. McKaylee Moore called for the offside. She was streaking down the far side. About five minutes to go, about five and a half minutes, actually, here in the first half. BYU in control, leading 3 nothing, getting goals. First off from Michaela Coulihan, then Cameron Tucker, and then wasn't long after that that Lizzie Braby scored BYU's third goal of the evening and her second in back-to-back games. It's turning into a scoring machine, Avery. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a perfect time for her to kind of open up those floodgates. Nice defense by Rachel Lyman. Defending down on the far side in the corner. Able to get a turnover by Pacific. Will go out of play and goal kick by Sabrina Davis. She sends it into play to Lavinia Vaca. Vaca to Jamie Shepard. Shepard has Mon down the near side. Elects to go back towards the middle to Michaela Coulihan. Coulihan wide to Ballstead. Nice cutback by Ella. Ella back to Brockbank. Brockbank to Jamie Shepard. One touch to Ashton. Far side to Lyman. And a cross into the box right at Baranowska by Ella Ballstedt. Cross from Ella Ballstedt. Four minutes to go in the first half. Baranowska in no hurry to put the ball in play, barking out instructions, wants her teammates to get down the field. And she booms one already into the attacking area. But Alyssa Jefferson was there. Nice job by BYU to eliminate an opportunity. That was a great goal kick by Baranowska. Yeah, she punts the ball past the opposing side center circle. After a steal by Pacific, the Cougars steal it right back. BYU on the run. And the offside flag goes up. Otherwise, it was going to be a 1v1, Michaela Coulihan versus Baranowska. And I like Coulihan's chances, but offside flag goes up, and that opportunity is thwarted. 42nd minute, 3-0 BYU. Free kick for the Tigers. Pacific can't maintain possession. Some careless passing for the Tigers, and BYU will come away with it. McKaylee Moore down the near side can't catch up with the pass from Mon. It'll be a throw in for the Tigers right in front of the Pacific bench. Pacific plays the ball back towards the middle of the pitch. Trying to get something going near the end of the half. The ball wide. Pacific on the move. And once again, a careless pass behind her teammate goes out of play and a throw in for the Cougars. A little over two minutes to go here in the first half. Lyman throwing in on the far side. Gets it into Vaca. Lavinny. Playing forward to Michaela Coulihan. Good defense by Pacific. Back to Vaca. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Nice pass to Ellie Mon. Takes it back towards the middle of the pitch. Almost loses control, but maintains possession. Wide to Ballstead. Ella near the in line. A shot goes behind the net. It'll be a goal kick for Baranowska. Have another corner kick for the BYU Cougars. Another Mountain America Credit Union corner kick guiding you forward. It appears that Ballstead will take the corner kick. Minute 20 to go here in the first half. Right foot into the box. 
headed up and out above the crossbar. A dangerous corner. But luckily for Pacific, BYU unable to score. Baranowska will roll the ball into play. The ball immediately sent back to the Pacific keeper. She sends it wide and a pass deep and out of play. And Pacific once again careless with some of their passes. BYU looking for another opportunity with about 45 seconds to go to add to their 3-0 lead. Throw in by Josie Gwynn. Gets it into Brockbank. One touch back to Gwynn. Josie towards the middle of the pitch to Vaca. Vaca charging forward to Lyman. Lyman catching up right around the edge of the box. Gets a right foot on it, but Baranowska with an easy stop. 15 we, seconds to go. We don't call her the speedster for nothing. Start calling her the flash. I think she was 10 yards behind the ball and then not only caught up to the ball that was moving faster than her. A goal kick for Baranowska. And that's the way the first half ends. A goal kick to nowhere. After 45 minutes, the BYU Cougars flexing their muscles. They lead to 3-9. Pacific Tigers, 3-0. We'll take a break from Southfield. We'll come back with Cougar Halftime Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. <laughs> 